following is a lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 22nd of June, 1974, in Germany. We have to pass through 900,000 forms of aquatic body within the water. Then gradually we come to the form of trees and plants. There are two million varieties. Then we get the bodies of the insects. There are 900,000 forms of body. Then we enter into the species of birds, one million forms of body. Then after birds' body, there are three million different varieties of beast body. Then after this period, we become human body, but there are 400,000 species of human body. And thus we get this nice human form body with good brain and good consciousness, so it should be utilized properly. Yeah. By the laws of nature, prakritya manani guni karmanisha. This is the law of nature. Gradually, we develop different types of body and different types of consciousness. So, when we come finally to God consciousness or Krishna consciousness, that is the perfection of life. So, we are living in this planet, but in other planets also there are different forms of life. So there is one planet, there are many millions of planets, specifically there is one planet within this universe that is called Siddha Loka. There is other planet also, heavenly planet, Brahma, uh, Brahma Loka planet, and in different planets, there are different species of life, different standard of comfort. But in the higher planetary system, the standard of comfort is more and more, thousand times more, thousand times more in this way. Just like in this planet, we have got different standard of life. In your Western countries, your standard of life is at least it is to be understood more comfortable than other standard of life. In this way, if you promote yourself to the topmost planetary system, which is called Brahma Loka, then you get your duration of life many millions of years. It is stated in the Bhagavad Gita that Sahasra Yuga or Hajjad Brahmano Vidu, in the Brahma Loka planet, the residents, they have got their one day. One day means daytime, not night time. Twelve hours, say. That is equal to their twelve hours is equal to our millions of years. Sahasra Yuga. Sahasra Yuga means forty three hundred thousands of years multiplied by one thousand. That is called Saraswati. Such is the desert duration of time is equal to twelve hours in the Brahma Loka planet. So even if you go to the Brahma Loka planet, you read that Abrahma Bhavana Loka no Punarabhatina. Read it. Abrahma Bhavana Loka Puna Avartina Arjuna Mahupetya to Kantaya Punajanma Vijite. So our natural tendency is to go to other better planets 
Therefore, people are trying to go to the moon planet. Similarly, you can go to the sun planet, you can go to the Brahma Loko planet, Siddha Loko planet, heavenly planet. There are so many. But the information is, even though you reach the topmost planet of this universe, still there are the four principles of material life, namely birth, death, old age, and disease are there. So we can go to the topmost planet. There is process how to go. Urdhanga chanti sattasva madhe tishanti rajasa jaghanna gunavittista adhoga chanti If you keep yourself in satoguna or in the modes of goodness, you are promoted to the higher planetary system, even to the topmost planetary system. That is called Urdhamba Chanti Sattasva. And if you keep yourself in the modes of passion, you shall remain within the middle uh, planetary system. This is middle planetary system. This are three planets. This is called Bhurlo. Then above this there is Bhubarlo. Then above this Sarolo, that is heavenly planet. The heavenly planet begins from the moon planet. Jaghanna guna vittisya ado gachanti tamasa. And those who are in the moods of darkness, they go down, down, down. The animal life is also amongst the down modes of life. So this human form of life is a chance to make our choice where we shall go next, in the higher or in the lower, or we shall remain here. So how to go to the higher planetary system? That is also mentioned. Janti Deva Prata Devan. Read this. Yanti Deva Prata Devan Pitrin Yanti Pachir Vataha Bhutani Yanti Bhuteja Yanti Madajino Piman. So if we like, we can go to the higher planetary system, heavenly planetary system. Just like we are trying to go to the moon planet, but we have not been successful. In this way, we cannot go there. Each planet, each and every planet has got different atmosphere. So, unless your body is completely competent to live in such planet, you cannot go there. Just like the scientist said that in the moon planet the temperature is 200 degrees below zero. Similarly, in the sun planet the temperature is very, very high, hundred and thousand times degrees above the normal. So in this way every planet has got different atmosphere, different temperature, different standard of life, different duration of life. So one has to become competent to transfer himself in a particular type of planet. So we as spirit soul, Dehi, the possessor of this body. Dehi means one who possesses this body or the occupier of the body, the spirit soul. That is eternal. Changing body only, but eternal. Therefore, we should not be interested to these different types of temporary body. That is not very good intelligence. So, we have to prepare ourselves if we want. There is a full description of each and every planet, and we can prepare ourselves according to our desire which planet we wish to go. But, Krishna says, Madhyajinopi Janti Ma. Persons who have engaged in my occupational duties, they will come to me. So go to God or Krishna means you will have to acquire your original spiritual body. The spiritual body is already there, but we are now covered by this material body. So how we are eternal, that is described in the Bhagavad-gītā, 
अविनाशी तो तब विद्धि जीन सर्व निदम तथम विनाशम अवयस्य अश्व न स्थित कब तुम अनती दे हिंट इज गिवन दे समथिंग विच इज स्प्रेड ऑल ओवर द बॉडी दैट इज इट आर एंड व्हाट इज दैट समथिंग दैट समथिंग इज अवर कॉन्शियसनेस हियर इट इज स्टेटेड अविनाशी तो तब विद्धि जीन सर्वमिदम तथम In this body, there is something that is consciousness, that is eternal. Just like if you or I pinch my body, I feel pain because the consciousness is there. But when the consciousness will not be there, if I cut my hand or cut your hand, you will not protest. Even scientists have proved this consciousness is there. In the tree also, if you cut the tree, there is sensation, feeling some pain, and that is recorded in the machine. So here it is hinted that this consciousness is spread all over the body. That is eternal. The body is not eternal. As soon as the consciousness is gone, the body is dead. Therefore, we should take. Care of the thing which is constant. That is the soul. On account of presence of the soul, there is consciousness. So Krishna further says in this connection, "Antavatai me deha nitta sukta sarira." This body, the arm is body. Antavat, it is very simple. Nitta sa utta sarira, but the Thing which is covered by this material body, that is eternal. So that consciousness of the rays of the soul is described here. Najayati mriyati va kadachi. This consciousness of the soul is never born, neither it is ever dead. Naayam bhutya bhuvita ba na bhuyo. The soul and the consciousness. Has no past, present, or future. It is eternal. Ajo, ajo means which does not take birth. Ajo nitya, eternal. Shastra, ever existing. Ayam, Purana, the oldest. No harna the harnamane shreere. When the body is annihilated, the soul and consciousness is not annihilated. Just like when we sleep, our consciousness works. In a different body, subtle body, mind, intelligence, and ego. That we have got experience every night. We sleep on our bed, but my consciousness goes to other country or other place and work in a different place. Again, when at the end of the dream, we come back to this body, cross body. So death means when the consciousness. Does not come back again to this gross body and enters another gross body. This period is called death. So the subtle body, mind is there. I know you have got mind. You know I have got my mind. But I cannot see your mind. You cannot see my mind. So there is intelligence also. I know you have got intelligence. You know I have got intelligence. But you cannot see my intelligence unless it is acted. I cannot see your intelligence unless it is acted. So the soul is covered by two kinds of dresses, just like we are covered by the shirt and the coat. Similarly, the covering of the shirt or mind, intelligence, and ego. This is one covering, and upon this there is a gross covering. Earth, water, air, fire, like that. In this way, we have got two covers. So our business is because we are eternal. We should not remain in these temporary coverings. That temporary cover, so long we are bound up or encased in this covering. That is called conditioned life. So we are trying to become free. From this conditioned life, just like people are trying to go to the moon planet, the desire is there, but because the life is conditioned, 
He cannot go. Just like I am a foreigner, I have come to your country, I am conditioned by immigration law. There are so many conditions. One of the conditions is that I cannot live here forever unless it is sanctioned by the God. So we are conditioned now in this form of life covered by the material element. We are conditioned by the material nature. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Prakita Kriyavarani Unai Karmani Sarva. Ahankara Vimuna Atma Patta Aham Niti Mannati. We are conditioned in every state by the laws of material nature. Still foolishly we are thinking we are free. This is foolishness. We are so much controlled by the material nature. Exactly like a small child is pulled by the gear by his mother. Come here, he comes here, go there. Just like a dog. The dog may feel very freedom, jumping. But as soon as the master says, come here, he comes and immediately chill. This is our position. So that is our position, that we are completely under the clutches of material nature, and according to the modes of material nature, we are acting and changing our body in different species of life. So our real business in this human form of life is to try to accept the process by which we can get free from this conditioned life. The process is that we have to give up all our false consciousness. We are under false consciousness and thinking, I am Indian, you are thinking, you are German, and the dog is thinking, I am dog, and cat is thinking, I am cat. So this bodily consciousness, bodily concept of life will keep us conditioned within the material nature. Therefore our first business is how to get free from all these designations. Just like I am putting on this saffron cloth, but I am not saffron cloth, or you are putting a red cloth or black coat, you are not black cloth. Within the coat, you are the person. Similarly, within the dress, I am the person. So at the present moment, we are on the dress for consciousness. I am German dress, I am Englishman dress, I am Indian dress, I am male dress, I am female dress. So this is called conditioned life. So in this conditioned life, we are accepting one type of body and we are dying. Dying means giving up and being transmigrated, transferred to another body by the laws of material nature. It is not under my control. You cannot say that after giving up this German body, I shall accept again another German body. That is not in your hands, sir. It is under the laws of nature. You cannot propose. You cannot force material nature. After this body, I can get any other body. That is stated here. Tatha dehantra prapti, another form of body. That form of body may be any one of the eight million four hundred thousand forms of body. Therefore, if we are actually intelligent, we should try for or flesh in our original body, the spiritual body. That will stop this constant change of body. So the simple process is, as we are preaching in this Krishna consciousness moment, that if you try to understand only what is Krishna, Krishna or Christ, the same thing, then you get your original spiritual body. This Krishna consciousness can be awakened simply by chanting the Mahamantra Hare Krishna or the holy name of God. So keep yourself aloof from four kinds of sinful life and keep always in touch with Krishna and God, then you go back to home, back to God. This advantage is possible in this human form of life, otherwise we are missing the chance, we may be again put in the cycle of that eight million four hundred thousand forms of body. The process is very simple and easy because you can remain in your occupation in whatever 
position you are. Simply you chant the holy name of God. Not only Hare Krishna, you can chant the holy name of God. Christ. Christ is also the same as Krishna. So, do it. There is no expenditure, but the profit is very, very great. So the conclusion is, we should not put ourselves in the cycle of birth and death continually in 8,400,000 species of life. To stop it and go back to home, back to Godhead and regain your original spiritual life. So, thank you very much. If you have got any question on the subject matter, you can ask. If chanting means out loud, how can you do it all day while you're working and in so many different situations? How can you chant out loud? You chant slow. There is no harm. Either loud or slow, it doesn't matter. But you chant the holy name of God. Why do we say to chant but not sing? Hey, same thing. Either you sing or chant the same thing. What is the meaning of chanting? If you chant all day long, do you have to reach a certain consciousness? Yes. By chanting the holy name of God, you associate with God. God is absolute. He is not different from His name. So, when you chant God's name, means you immediately become in touch with God. And by chanting more and more, your association becomes more and more intimate, then everything is disclosed to you. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Tesam satat yuktanam bhajatam pritipu bhadam dadami buddhi yugam tam jirmam bhajatite. If you keep in touch with God, with faith and love, then God is within yourself. He will give you intelligence how you can go back home, back to God. There are many different processes or yoga system to be in touch with God. But for the people in this age, this is the easiest method to be in touch with God simply by chanting His holy name. Well, by chanting loudly, He will also help your neighbor who is hearing. And when He comes to complain, uh, why you are disturbing, then your mission is successful. That means he has heart. So that you hear and let your neighbors also hear, both of them benefit. And that is the greatest benefit you can render to your neighbor. I have already explained that God and His name, the one, absolute, in the material world, your name and you person, they are two different things. That is, difference between God and you. So therefore, by chanting God's name, he actually contact with God. But in the material world, that is not possible. Suppose I am thirsty, I want water. If I chant water, water, it is not act. But in the case of chanting the holy name of God, it is as good as to associate with God. Try to understand. That Nama Chintamani Krishna Chaitanya Rasa Vigra Purna Suddha Nitta Mukta Abhinna Tyat Nama Namina The name of God and God is equally Purna, perfect, Suddha, purify, Purna Suddha Nitta, Itana, Purna Suddha Nitta Mukta and liberated from material contaminants. So, it is not the question of argument. You can try. There is no loss on your part. Chant the holy name of God and see the results yourself. When in India also sometimes Krishna is announced as Krishna or you announce as Christ, it does not mean because God will take your mind, not your pronunciation. If you mean to pronounce God's name, even if it is not formally or perfectly pronounced, still God will understand that you are trying to chant His name. That is your purpose. Christ or Krishna or Krishna, if you understand that you are hankering after Him, He will give the result and action. And this is the easiest process in this age for God realization. Thank you very much. Let us chant.
जय राधा माधव कुन्नो बिहारी Jashodhanandhan Vrajajana Ranjana Jashodhanandhan Vrajajana Ranjana Jamona Thiro Bhana Chari Jamuna Thira Bhana Chari Jamuna Thira Bhana Chari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunya Bihari Gopi Jana Vallava Diri Varadhari Gopi Jana Vallava Diri Varadhari Yasodhanandhan Vrajajana Ranjana Yasodhanandhan Vrajajana Ranjana Yamuna Thira Bhana Chadhi Yamuna Thira Jai Radha Madhava Kunda Bihari Jai Radha Madhava Kunda Bihari जाएं उस पाप पर मंगल परिवार जगाचा जस्ते करे फिर समाज अपने धाम दिशा से भी दूषण नहीं कर पाती जाएं अंत पूरी बुश में मिल की जाएं नामाचा जस्ते हरिदास साफ़ हो की जाएं प्रेम से कहो सी किसने चाहिए तो न प्रभु निकान अन्य सी अद्भुत जगाचा दर सुबह ठाड़ी भोग वक्त मिल जाए सिसी राधा कृष्ण को गुना साम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरी और जन की जाए बिन्ना मन धाम की जाए नवदीप धाम की जाए गंगा माय की जाए जमुना माय की जाए दूर द्वार का धाम की जाए शांवी तो भक्तविंद की जाए और ग्लोरी से जैसे मिले और ग्लोरी से जैसे मिले थैंक यू वेरी मैच